is the best controller settings. I'm gifting my fan stuff from the item shop. So all you have to do to get gifted is like the video, subscribe to my channel, and then comment your username so I can add you and just gift you something random. Good luck. Auto open doors. Now, why is this useful? Well, basically, when you ever fail an edit, rather than making a triangle edit, you make a wall edit. Basically, a door is going to appear and you can just automatically walk through it if you have the auto open door setting on. Grim by default is important because it frees up your left stick bind, which you can then bind to anything you want. So turn that on. Sprint by default, by turning this on, will free up your left stick, and you can use this bind then to use it for an edit bind or something useful. Auto pick up weapons is another useful one, because when you land down and try and beat someone to picking up guns, it will actually beat anybody spamming their interact button, so you can just walk over the guns and get them immediately and beat absolutely anybody. Do you want to rock a shotgun in your slot 1? Because what this is going to be is that you hit RB or R1, and you'll go immediately to your shotgun, so if you need to be up close and fast, then you can immediately get your shotgun out. But then number two and three, what you're going to want to go ahead and rock is actually two SMGs. And holy guys, if you have double of these with a shotgun, I literally am unstoppable and win every single game. I want you guys to check that you have disable pre-edit option turned to on, because this is a new setting they added recently and not everyone has this on. And what this means is basically when you are editing up, like let's say a floor in a pyramid, then you won't by accidentally edit the pyramid rather than the floor first because you have this setting turned on. So trust me, super useful, turn it on. Something to mention is replays. I cannot believe some people still have these turned to on these days. Make sure these are all turned off. You only really get positives from this, which is going to be you're going to get more FPS and your game is going to feel super more responsive, lower input delay and more FPS. So just turn all your replay settings to off. In terms of HUD scale, what I've been recommending to everybody is 75%. This is the absolute perfect competition setting. 3D headphones only use this, guys, if you generally have a 3D option on your headphones. Because if you don't, it will actually affect you negatively. And you don't want to be using that because it's going to make it worse for you. And you won't be able to hear where your enemies are. But if you have certain headphones that will be able to give you 3D feedback, then definitely turn this on. Because what this is going to do for you is allow you to hear around. So if someone's behind you, you can hear them. Uh, and then if you don't, what you can actually do to counter this is have visualized sound effects turned to on. But only turn this on if you don't have 3D headphones because what this does is it suppresses the real 3D feature and displays it on your screen. So you want to go ahead and have that on if you don't have 3D headphones or if you do, turn it off. Um, and then that's pretty much it for the audio. In terms of binds for your controller, I mentioned earlier to have the uh, left stick freed up because in that case, I have my left stick as my editing bind, as you can tell. Um, but other than that, I haven't really changed anything else in my settings. The only thing I've got is Builder Pro and then basically just left stick as my edit and then I select with RT uh, and then confirm with B. In terms of controller settings, I know you guys have been waiting for this one. So in terms of foot controller, it's a secret setting that not everybody has. So if it's there for you, turn this on and then set the dead zones both at 1% for each because what this is going to go ahead and do is give you the minimal amount of input delay. Then next up for dead zones, this is what I rock. So I actually on the left, I rock 8% and then on the right dead zone for the aim, I rock it as low as possible so we get the most feedback when aiming down sights. But if you do get really bad stick drift, you can up this up a bit to about 8 or 10%, but that's what I use. And then in terms of input curves, in the new season, I've been using Exponential. I think it has the more um, aim, you know, aimbot sort of setting lock-on feeling to it, whereas Linear just feels too fast and you just swipe over your opponents. Uh, so Exponential, I feel like you get more aim assist and it really does lock on. Uh, and then in terms of all the dampening things, it just have these all at 0%. But then coming up to the ADS lockdown speed, basically it's when you're aiming down to your gun. And I think 8% is probably the best uh, horizontal speeds to have it at in the new season. Now, in terms of edit hold time, have this as low as possible or just have left stick to edit. And then slide hold time. What I actually have in the new season, I actually use 0.1, just exactly like that. And I find it to be very useful for me. Uh, some people don't like sliding, so you can have it hard. Higher, but I actually kind of like it. Vibrations turn this off because it can actually disrupt your aim when aiming down your sight if your controller is vibrating everywhere. Uh, next up is build mode sensitivity. You guys want to use uh, uh, the multiplier at 2% and then the edit multiplier, you want to have it at 2.1%. 
Now, the very final setting, the look sensitivity, the overall sensitivity you guys have been waiting for. Basically, what you guys are going to want to be rocking for this setting is going to be the same for both of them, the horizontal and vertical. And what you guys are going to want to use is 45%. Make sure to drop a like on the video, subscribe, and comment your username so I can gift you something from the item shop. Other than that, click the video in the top right corner of the screen. There's something in it you need to see, and I'll see you over there.